Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic Another light. day and more pin mail. Today we have four little packages of pin mail that have arrived. There's a little purple one in there too. So we're gonna go ahead and open these together. I'm gonna open this one first. This is from Kath on Whatnot, and I remember purchasing this. It is completing a series for me, and I am excited that this series is now complete. It took a little while for me to complete this one. Oh, we got some stickers. So cute. And then here is the final pin that we needed to complete our fanny pack series. Stitch is the hardest one to get in that series, and now he is home. Oh my gosh, can you see on the zipper pull there? It's a little flower. That is too cute. There is Stitch. Super excited to have received him. Got him at a good price, too. On to our next package. Let's see what's in here. Oh, wrapped very nicely. Let's make sure that's it. Okay. Ooh, all right, we can tell we have five pins. <gasps> Yay, it's my Bugs Life set. I purchased these off of eBay. I ended up getting two of these in a whatnot show that I was watching, and then it was actually cheaper for me to just go ahead and scoop up the whole set from eBay than to find the three that I was missing. So I'll use the ones that are duplicates as traders, but this is such a cute little set. I am a big Bugs Life fan. So here is what one of the pins looks like. Here's two more of them. Hopper looks to be the chase in this series. He seems to have a little more glitter on him. That's how you know a chase pin. Typically, they'll have glitter that the other pins do not. Here are the final two in that set. So this was a set that was completed quickly because I purchased the entire set in a complete form to begin with. But very cute little pins. Happy to have this set. Very fun little set. On to our little adorable purple package. This is from a whatnot seller called Chaos Unboxing. She sent me a message afterwards to let me know that a couple of my pins had not made it into my box, but not to worry, she had sent them my way. So thankful for that. Here's what we've got going on. Oh my goodness, look at this little Mickey-shaped carabiner clip. Uh, maybe that's not a carabiner, but you know, one of those sorts of things. That's really adorable. I love that. That was a nice little surprise item that was included. We have this aerial pin. This is from the live motion picture. Look at how beautiful that is. This was $9.90 originally. I paid just a couple of dollars. This is a lounge fly pin. Beautiful, beautiful pin. This is one that I have been looking for for a little while. The Rescuers are movies that I watched as a kid and really appreciated them then. So I knew I had to have this pin when I first saw it. it took me a little while to scoop it up, but it is now home. And lastly, we have a little munchling to add to our munchling pin collection. Oh my goodness, the cuteness. I think this is Huey, Dewey, and Louie. As what? I don't know, but they're cute. They have the little crystal Mickey head in there. This is, again, an attempt to minimize or prevent people from faking Disney pins. There was a little black spot down there. I was just wiping it off, but very cute little pin. Glad that I was able to grab that from Chaos Unboxing and add it to my Munchlings collection. 
And last we have our largest package, this pink one. I feel lots of stuff going on in there. I think this is actually the rest of my stuff from Chaos. So I think that the ones that I just opened were the ones that didn't make it in originally that she added in for me. So they came on the same day. How fun. Here is this live action version of this Little Mermaid pin. She's with her sisters in this one. Another very pretty lounge fly pin. Again, $9.90. I paid a dollar or two. Not much at all. Was very lucky to grab that at the price that I did. I'm so excited about Pooh with the flowers. This is a lounge fly pin. Here he is off his backer card. He's just so cute with those flowers. Really love little Pooh. Okay, heading back into this box. What is this? Oh, this is very cute. I think that it might have gotten a little bit, oh, just barely, okay. Oh, a little ornament. That is a very sweet little addition. So sweet when the sellers add in little surprises like that. Yes, this is the rest of my package from Chaos, as I thought. The return addresses were different, so I wasn't positive, but there we go. Got ourselves a Chaos unboxing sticker. Great whatnot sellers. Also available on these other platforms if you'd like to check them out. Back in for more pins. What do we have here? Oh, we have blue. And adding to my stocking collection, we'll get to him in a minute. We have Baloo floating along in the river from the Jungle Book. He's a cutie. There's Baloo. <laughs> How comfy he looks just hanging out in the water there. I am very excited about this one. This is adding to my stocking collection. I only have two at this point. Two of six? I'll put the complete collection on the screen and show you, but they're very cute little stockings. I just love them. So now I have, I think, Pluto and Mickey. Very cute. Going back in for more pins. This was definitely a full pack. All right, this is it for pins from Chaos. <gasps> Oh, Owl in the rocking chair. He is too cute. You don't see a lot of Owl pins. Owl from Pooh. So I had to grab him up when I did see him. I guess I was having a vibe with cozy animals on this day because Baloo was looking pretty cozy too. But there's Owl. Very cute. We were able to grab up Pluto here from this Halloween set as well. Halloween, of course, has come and gone at this point, but... Still enjoy this pin, so we grabbed Pluto. There he is in his mischievous looking situation. This is a really beautiful pin, and this was the first time I had seen this one was during Chaos's live sale. This is a Moana pin, originally $10.90, paid just a couple of dollars for it. Very beautiful. We got ourselves a little woozle. Heffalumps and woozles are something that, I don't know, I've made a joke out of them over the years that I've been married to Brandon. And so I now have myself a woozle and am just in search of heffalump to match my woozle. And we have one more munchling to add to our munchling collection. Minnie Mouse, she's a stack of blueberry pancakes. The cuteness. There's that little crystal again. So cute. Here we have today's pin mail. Very excited about the pins that came in the mail today. Really beautiful pins, completing some sets, working on some sets, just grabbing some because I like them and the characters. Good pin mail day. Here we have the completed fanny pack pin collection. It's a new day, and that means there's more pin mail. Today we have three little packages of pin mail. One of them is super tiny, and then we have two others here. So let's go ahead and get into them. I'm gonna start with this package first. 
Oh, I see some cuties in there. I'm excited about this set. There are some that are starting some collections for me and some that are continuing some collections. I am starting the Inside Out collection, so I was able to scoop up a sadness, and she has her little memory ball there. Is that what they're called? We have anger, and mm, there was one more that I was able to get. Let me check who the seller was. I think maybe one was forgotten. I'll have to reach out to them because I don't feel anything else in the package. I'll have to check on that, but also starting this cupcake collection and also this hot air balloon collection. So let me give you a closer look. This one is adding to the balloon set that I'm already working on. These two pieces of popcorn go with another pin that I already got. So now I have the complete set of those. So we're starting some sets, completing a set, and continuing on a set, but let me give you a closer look of each of these very beautiful pins. Here is Little Sadness. She's laying, and she is a lounge fly pin. Very cute. This is a very cute little collection of pins, and I'm excited to be starting it. I have heard from others that the chase, which is bing bong, is very hard to find. So it may be a collection that I'm working on for some time. Continuing on with that series, here we have Anger. Look at him, his little grouchy state. These are very tiny little pins. I enjoy that. Sometimes I like having pins that are not so big. So cute little Anger there. Joining sadness. Oh, this one has a double pin back. So this is my first hot air balloon pin from this series. This is a very cute little series. They've done a couple of hot air balloon series and I don't like all of them. The down Main Street, traveling down Main Street ones are okay, but the characters are on top of the balloons and I just like this series where they're in the balloons a lot better. So here is Mickey Mouse. He has got some glitter in this portion of his balloon hanging out in the basket. There's the back. We have a Donald Duck cupcake here. This is a very cute little set. There are a couple of cupcake sets as well, and this is the one that I prefer. So this is the only cupcake set that I'm currently working on, and I don't have any other cupcake sets. But there is Donald. Also from that same cupcake set, we have Mickey Mouse. So cute. We have the Tigger Balloon to add to our little balloon collection. I think that brings us to about halfway done with this set. Look, really looks like the inside of his ears there. Very cute. And then we have the two little pieces of popcorn that go with a popcorn pin that I already have, so I'm thankful to have that set complete. We've got Minnie Mouse and we've got Mickey. And that is it for that package. Like I said, I think one is missing, so I'll reach out to the seller and check on that. And now we are on to this black package that has several pins in it. This is another purchase from Mini Mama Pins on Whatnot. Really love purchasing from Mini Mama Pins. I've got a little dog sticker sealing this today. I've been getting some pin mail and I haven't been good about filming all of my unboxings of pin mail. Oh, we ripped the doggy. Uh, because sometimes I just want to get into them, but I've gotten a few really cute packages that will have a sticker on it that says, warning, opening this package will cause happiness. First up, we have this Disney Moana 100 pin. It's a very interesting pin. It's like a geometric style, and there is a whole series of these. I'm not sure that I want to collect the entire series, but this one was a steal, so I grabbed it. It is indeed a very beautiful pin. I'm going to leave that one in its packaging. This is the beginning of a series that I'm very excited about, the princess name tags. So we have Princess Tiana to kick things off. And actually I think they call them the princess signatures because this is their signature. This is how they sign books if you visit Disney and are fortunate enough to get their autograph. This is how it would look. So this is Princess Tiana's signature. These are lounge fly pins. So they've got that fun lounge fly back. 
There is our Princess Tiana pin. We've got Prince Naveen down here in his frog form. We've also got Ray, the firefly up there. Very cute little pin. This is a large collection. There are 16 in this series and I'm just starting it. So I'm sure I'll be working on this one for a little while. And one more princess name tag to add to that collection. We have Snow White, oh my goodness. The little florals, the bunny, the little bird, the little heart for the dot and the eye. Very sweet pin. These are really beautiful. I knew I liked them before, but now that I'm getting to see them in person, I'm that much more impressed with the little details. And you know me at this point, those little details are why pin collecting is something I enjoy so much. All right, last but not least, this is one that I've been very excited about. I was able to snag my first Munchling from the 2023 Advent Calendar series. So this is a very expensive collection and I did not purchase the entire Advent Calendar. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. This is larger than the traditional Munchlings. This is Minnie Mouse. And I was able to score her for $7, which included shipping. I got very lucky with uh, winning an eBay auction on her. So here she is. She's a double pin back. She has got glitter in her bow and also in this portion of her outfit. She's the only Munchling that I have from the 2023 Advent Calendar, but I'm hopeful that I'll be able to scoop up a few more, but I just can't bring myself to pay some of the prices. Some of them individually are going for 15, 20, 25 dollars. That's like the average and then certain ones are going for even more than that. So I feel very fortunate that I was able to grab her for the price that I did and I'm super excited to add her to my collection of munchlings. So here is our pin haul from today. These are the pins that we got in the mail. I think I spaced them out feeling like there might have been more total or that they'd take up more space but alas they did not. So starting some series, continuing some series, completing a set even, but those are the little beauties we brought home today. Here is Miss Minnie in comparison to other munchlings, so much bigger. And also Minnie has this little jewel on the back, which newer Disney pins have as an additional way to try to prevent people from faking them. We've added Tigger to the balloon set. And this is the popcorn pin that those other little popcorn pieces go with. We have some more pin mail today. We have two packages that we are going to open together today. So I'm gonna start with this one. This was an eBay purchase. Okay. Oh, that's sweet. Share the magic. And then we have a thank you so much for your purchase, enjoy. We've got some little Winnie the Pooh tape. That's really cute. And let's go ahead and dive in. Oh my goodness, it's wrapped really well. <gasps> it is our last gingham pin that we need for this set. Here is Piglet. Oh my goodness. I'm very excited about this. Piglet is now joining this collection and he is the last one I needed. So my Gingham Winnie the Pooh characters collection is now complete. Yay. Yay for Piglet being home. On to our last package for today. Oh, I think this is a little ornament that I was able to choose because I won a giveaway on this particular show. Oh, did I just seal it? I guess it came unsealed. That's a cute bag. You are amazing, it says. That's very sweet. I always like the little motivational things there. This says, Aloha, Brie. Thanks for hanging out with us. 
and your support is truly appreciated. Mahalo, Cat and Barb. Oh, cute. Oh, what is this? This is like a little extra something that was added in. This looks fun. Oh, look. Look at that little Mickey. Oh my goodness, that's cute. I don't know exactly what it is. It's it's uh, flexible. This is what it looks like on the back side. But it's very, very cute. Oh, and this is the little ornament that I was able to select as part of my giveaway. I got to pick a pin and an ornament. So that is very sweet. Oh my gosh, we got stickers too. A little Christmas tree and a snow globe, some stitch. Wow. Yay, we got Wally. And we got another one to add to our Jack collection. Always excited to add some real Jack. That is a collection that I'm just slowly working on as I find pins from that series. Oh, little cuteness, there's Wally. And here is this Jack pin. He is a cutie. I will show you Jack compared to the fake version that I have in just a moment. This little peppermint mocha cup pin is being added to my collection of those little peppermint mocha cups. I have Jack and now I have Pluto. Oh, the cuteness. I will take him off of this backer card but I will keep the backer card. That's what I tend to do with these ones that the backer card doesn't have anything extra fancy or special on it, but I just figure I'll keep it. Here is Pluto. All right, let me briefly show you real versus fake. This is the real pin. This is the fake version. And right away, you can notice some coloring differences in the green and the yellow, especially. Here are some of the differences that are going on on the backs as well. The fake is a pretty good fake overall, but it is exactly that, a fake. So with these two, some of the easiest ways to tell are the coloring and the fact that this one has the little prongs next to the main post and this one does not. Super excited to add another Jack to that collection. A real Jack. All right, so just a little tiny collection today. Four pins that we got in the mail, but we did get all these adorable little extras as well. So a very fun pin mail day nonetheless. Eli just got home and was noticing this and he said that he's pretty sure it goes in the cup holder of your car. And that makes perfect sense. So I think we've solved the mystery of what this little bonus item is. Super cute. And here is a look at the final collection of the Gingham Winnie the Pooh characters. There's Piglet that arrived home today. There's Tigger, who's the chaser. You know he's the chaser because he has a glittery nose, but there they are. Very cute little set. There are the two Jacks that we have home so far plus this one that still had its card, so I kept it on it. And there are the two peppermint mocha mugs that we have so far. And Wally joined what may very well be my favorite pin page because it is just all of my pins and they are random, but I love the way they all look together. Some of them do go to sets that I just haven't added to yet. Others go to sets that I'm not planning to add to, and then some are just free floating. Even if the sky is falling down